Hello everybody and welcome once again to Beyond Galactic Science. At the end of the last episode I was going to show you a couple of gems. Well, a couple of gems are dead straightforward and I'm doing it in a very simple way. So I'll show you what I've been doing to set up my couple of gem. I'm not doing any of the water flowing, just really simple one. Well I think it's simple. So we'll just take you some cobblestone, let's put some cobblestone down here like this. And I'm going to do it in a with a hole that is basically one block hole like this and then do it on the oops missed do it like this if I actually manage to get things in the right place which doesn't seem to be happening today let's get rid of those two like that one side I'm going to put lava and the other side I'm going to put water so let's put the water down there like that and let's put the lava down like this and that's basically all we need to do well we have to put a transfer node on top of it of course and in the transfer node we have to put a world interaction upgrade which then starts to generate cobblestone and then we need some form of way of holding that so let's just take a transfer node down here I want to put it down say here and then on top of that I'm going to put a chest like this well on the front of it really and I'm going to use a mini chest it looks really weird when you do it like this never mind and you see it straight away that's got 64 cobblestone in it and what I then do is I cover it up because I don't want lava spitting out all over the place which is basically cover it up like that I do it on both sides and then just fill it in however you want it now that's good perfectly safe I'll make as much cobblestone as you want uh, and if you want to make it faster you just add more world, world interaction upgrades in here and that increases the speed I haven't fixed out the farm yet and I'm gonna have basically I'm gonna do a new room for this so let's I'm gonna show you that next I have created a room schema and let's put the screwdriver in here sonic screwdriver and let's go back I want to find a room and here I've got rooms and the one I created is called PA planter and it's quite simple to do this one here let's take this out here and then let's simply come along here and change the mode to being the yellow one which is schema pa planter and then we create a pa planter room i'll do it here like that strangely it's been totally funny with the colors actually that's why i've got in with me some colors prepared from last time because they bothers me you know i don't like having things not the right color so we're going to just move that out of the way no, I want that in there. That's in here like this. And I'm going to simply left click that on there and that basically makes sure it's the wrong. I left click on that one and then put the green in here. Like that. And there and the pink one there. And that's then complete. So basically I've created a, this was from the small cellar. And all I've done is added some dirt, added a plant and put a block of water in it. And here I created a lift. The lift I'm going to change because it doesn't work quite as well as it should do, you see? It's jumping up and down sometimes and here I've got the planter and it's just a wooden planter which are really cheap they really at this stage of the game if you haven't got wood you haven't got a TARDIS put it like that. it's a wooden cobblestone and that's it so I think that's not an unreasonable thing to put in here I might change this actually what I'm planning to do is look at another room now let's do that Go back to the base. Let's go back. In the wrong direction. Following my scheme, color scheme, I failed. And let's put that in here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this now to a medium farm. There's lots of them. I've got my head tilted when I'm reading this as well. Typical, I want to go the wrong way around. Medium farm. I'm going to create that here. And this is going to be better because we basically, I don't want this block in the middle of here. But the problem is, there's two fault problems for this. 
for trees. One is it's not, it's deep enough now, but you can't get to the planter properly. Let's actually go and pinch that planter from over here. If I do that, I'll have to pick up the water first, won't I? Otherwise, I'll get a flood. Let's do that with a bucket here. <laughs> Bounces up and down. It goes through a second time. I think it's probably because it needs more levels than just two. Like that. So let's put down a block of dirt like this. On top of that, put the actually tree planters are in fact are even higher, aren't they? So let's put down a cobblestone block like this. This is where tree planters would be. Oops, I'm having difficulty trying that like this. So this was a chopper, it would be here. And then that would be okay because you could then access this by from underneath because it's high enough but in fact if it was a farm I'd need to, it would be below here so it would be at this level and the dirt would be down here so what I plan to do is to move this down two levels so let's do that so what we need to do first of all is we need to come to this position here and see what it is in terms of X and Y and Z so I'm going to write these places down so at the moment it's minus 35 68 and minus 30 in the Z like that now I'm going to change the mode and we're going to go into creative mode so we'll open the game to land because you can't do it from I haven't got permission to do it from here so if I say game mode creative says you do not have permissions but if you go into land mode here it's the wrong button, escape, open to land and change the game to survival and allow cheats and then start land world. Then I can happily change the mode to creative. So now I'm creative mode. So now I can actually break these blocks, so like that. And underneath here we've got this car tidy scheme, schema core. So that one is at position 65 because it's one below my feet like that. So what I'm going to have to do now is to break these blocks down here like this. And you'll see underneath here is, ooh, I have to land, is nothing. It's just complete nothing. So what we have to do now is basically build this out or build it down. I want to build it in both directions. I'm going to turn off F3, I don't need that now. So then I'm in creative mode. And what I should do first of all is to come back through here like this. If I can get through this little hole. If not, to make it a bit bigger, huh? And create myself a chest and put all my all my stuff in it that I haven't got at the moment. So I want some wood. Um, it's probably easy to go make a chest, isn't it? If I go the right way. To be honest with you, I've hardly ever played. Um, should I put another chest down here? Oh, that's because I'm in creative mode, isn't it? Uh huh. I will take the TARDIS decorator with me. And I don't think I need anything else from in there. Right, let's go back up again. What I'll do next is I'll start to break these blocks. What I do need is some of the TARDIS blocks. And they're on page five. Here we've got the TARDIS mod. And these are the TARDIS mod craftable. 
So these are things that we can actually craft, which you've seen already. And these are things you can't craft. So we need a primary door, like that. We need to have some more doors, like this possibly. We need doors. We'll need some solid flat blocks. And we'll need some solid blocks, I guess. And probably some roundels. What else will we need? Possibly a temporal core room control panel. Because I'm going to break the one we've got. Maybe not actually, we'll leave that there for the time being. That'll do. So. so I want to go down two blocks here like this. So what I'll do now is just, actually those are flat blocks, aren't they? So I'll do this and then I'll come back when it's done. Or maybe on what I'll do is if I can do a fast forward on it or a time lapse on it. So I'll see right, you in a few I'm back and I've been busy. Look, you can see I basically dug this all out. In fact, I missed a block here. Let's just put that block back. Um, I would like to actually. Oh, I've actually missed a f oh, I've got too many blocks here. That's the problem. Just drop this down a level. In fact, I might have done that in more than one place. I'll just check it. So what I'm basically doing now is I need another two levels down and change the boundaries. I'll show you that in a second. What we'll do is we'll go and have a visit outside. Just double check this is all correct. I did everything else. I guess I've put it in here as well. I was, do I was using the um, Super Builders one and I think it's just picked up too many blocks get rid of these quickly hopefully I haven't done this everywhere but you never know it looks like I have okay that was, a, that was bad never mind oops I want to put that one back in fact Let's just stand down here. It takes it took quite a while to do it, in fact. It was um I was getting errors about primary doors, cannot find primary doors within such a range. And I think I fact I discovered what that was. So this is a flat block, so let's take the, the magic one here and just, just click it on the the one I want which is that one there so there's now a lot deeper now there's one more to dig out and this is this one isn't it You notice this door above us is the red it's got a red cross on it and that means it's the primary door like this i'm just actually wondering whether i should put ladders into here because this is obviously the access point to get into the below the farms which makes a lot of sense in fact what we'll do is we'll quickly go out through the primary door by the side of the primary door here like this this is where I basically put some accesses into here. So we'll then set this as the uh, solid block, like that. And I've made a hole in here so we can fly out and have a look at the outside here. So you'll see I enabled the, um, the visibility of certain items and this is one of the, the schema boundary. And you'll see it's going down, it's going one layer below the floor or the bottom of the floor. I think that is correct, looking at the other at the other schemas here and then we have the very important block at the bottom in the middle here which is the uh, schema core and these schema boundaries normally these are invisible it's hard to work with them when they're invisible so you turn them on and then we've got the floor that was the bottom layer of the floor and then we've got some walls and some non-primary doors like this and on the top we've got glass what my next plan is to do is to actually extend this up again and make it the same height as this. 
but we'll save that as a as two different ones so let's save this one as schema you'll see I've been trying a few times we do this tardis schema save and then the room name with double quotes and then the position of the core so the core is 34 62 30 before I do that we're going to fill in the thing make sure it's all filled in ready I think I did that already actually it? yes I've already filled it in look so now we save it so now it says the schema is saved so what we can now do is test it out we've got a space over here I think break this glass up here now that might not be enough space we've got another farm over here let's just uh, let's just go into that one and then um, that was another test I was doing I can't break this glass don't want it at the moment as long as I don't save the schema it's no big deal so now we need the sonic screwdriver um, actually I need to pick my sonic screwdriver up Unless I've got it in my chest. In fact, it doesn't matter, does it? Really? Let's just get rid of those two and take the sonic screwdriver. And I want it in reconfigure mode. So we've got no schematic at the moment. So now we should have a schematic saved, of course. So let's go along here, put the sonic screwdriver in here, and then go back to rooms. And we want to see if we can find the, I'm not sure which way around, we go probably this way around alphabetical and reverse elsewhere so we should see the name of the farm that I've just saved PA farm medium this one so we take it out and hopefully when we now come along here we should be able to create this room so that's the one I've created and this is another one here so let's just it's the primary door that's interesting right click that one not enough room for schema. We can always delete schemas afterwards, of course. Let's do it over here then. There must be room over here. And sure enough, there's my schema being created. Like that. So that's how we do it. So that's, I think it's pretty cool. So next I'm going to extend it upwards. I will show you how to do that as well. We can use the existing one we've got. No big deal. I want to come through here. Uh, I'm going to just break. Actually I'm not going to break anything for, for that matter. We can use the one as a template we've got. Uh, and what I do need of course is the schema boundaries. Let's have a look. We don't need this anymore. But we do need the schema, schema boundaries here like this. What I'm going to do is take this up to the same height as this over here. So what we'll do is we'll bring this across. As far as we need to and then come down here. This one and just bring this one up. Not low enough yet am I? There we go. quite high the, the high farm but we need enough room for um, jungle trees so that's the height we need and we can break away these now we don't need these anymore and we don't even need to go across either that's the interesting thing they have in this case but if you look at this one here we haven't they haven't so And they have in this one as well, but they haven't in all of them. But it might be easier to line things up if we go across. So let's go back across over here, get into the right place. Not yet high enough, but.
These are invisible, by the way. I did say that already, but just to make sure. The schema boundaries are invisible. You can't see them once they're actually built, assembled. Unless they're enabled in the, in the configuration. And I'll write down in the description what configuration file you need to change and which bit. So that we were about too high, so that wasn't too bad. Too short, I mean. So this is what we do. And what I'm going to do next is to fill this in similar to, similar to how it's been designed with the big chamber with those sort of uh, windows and save this as a different name i'm going to save this one as a, a large farm or a tall farm possibly and the schemas i will also make available if anybody wants to use them it takes a while just to fly around this looks on just about one more block i reckon let's go down and do this it's a bit tedious this but it's you know part of building isn't part of Minecraft doing the I'm not that faster to do this so there we are so I'm not now what this does is schema is it determines the size of the of this room it doesn't actually, you don't have to have it because you see I made it too large, it, but that doesn't matter actually. We'll be able to save it even with a large schema like this. So nearly finished now. I'll finish it and then we'll, I'll save the schema. You can see if we actually tried to create it with something near, then it wouldn't work. But we could create two of these, of course. A bit nearer. Oh. There it goes. Not quite near enough. I could do with some far reaching things on this, couldn't I? And then I'm just going to fill it in the last one, just to be consistent. And you don't need it, I don't think. I think the computer it will calculate its own boundary position. Whoa. It's hard with creative flight. You sort of drift a little bit when more than you expected to do, right? There we go. So now we can save this again. So this time I'm going to save it as tall. And save the same room, but you'll see that the thing should be the same. It should just simply say schema saved. That's it. So now if we go back to the, um, the TARDIS, let's go back the quick way into the using the Silver Builders one. It should take me back to somewhere else ah I've not got it never mind I could have jumped down here can't I oops and then we put this into here now we should we have we should have another one now let's go that was test the one I just created. Pip. Medium farm, PA farm, medium should be tall. I didn't call it test, did I? No. I know they did call it Tom. Oh, PA farm test. Yeah. Tell you what we'll do, we'll quickly exit and come back in. So there you are. We are now a PA farm tool which we can then take this out of here and then we go to reconfigure mode and then we should be able to create a tool room I can't
can't do it here for some reason, right? This seems a bit strange. I don't think we can. Not enough room for schematic. We can't do it there because that's the other place. <clears throat> but we should be able to create a tall one here. It'll look exactly the same as this one. But you see we got the, the tall border. Now I'm going to simply exit again and change the configuration file. Um, and we can see what happens then. I'm going to stay in the same position to save the configuration. Now you can see the, the boundaries have gone. You can't see those anymore. But they're still there. They're just gone. You can't see them. So, that's how that works. I really hope you've enjoyed this episode. Next time... I reckon it's... I'm going to go back from Creative, which I think I've already gone out of. And also enabled visibility on these. You, you can see this is the force field. Actually, I almost prefer that, to be honest with you. It's a slightly different coloured glass, like it's blue. But you can actually see where it is. And that's another setting in the configuration file for the TARDIS mod. So, I'm going to say goodbye until next time. Well, hopefully we'll be doing some more travelling to places we've never been to. There are quite a few dimensions, if we go back over here and have a look at this, that we've never been to. So we've never been to Io, Europa, Castello, Venus we've been to, Pluto we've been to, Mercury. Well, I have anyway. Eclipse, Asteroids we've been to, that one. A world we can't go to. Spectral world, that'd be interesting. Gallifrey, that's another one. Forest in a Forester box and Europa. That's a second Europa. Cave game. Okay, quite a few. Scaro. I think I might have missed one there, actually. Let's have a look. Trendalore. Trendalore. So there's plenty of places to go to. We've never been yet. So, and that's Dimension Minus 71. That's a good one. No name. Right. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now. <laughs>